Now it's time to test out the machine. Well, the first thing you've got to do is uh, wind up the bobbin. I start by putting the thread in the spool and following the directions to threading it for the bobbin. Pull the end of the thread through the hole in the bobbin and make sure it's at the top. Put it in the bobbin spool and push push it to the right and you can start press the start button and you can stop in between to cut the end of the thread the reason for this is that sometimes this part of the thread or the hanging thread tends to intermingle with the winding thread and this causes problem when you are sewing Continue to wind the bobbin. You can even make it faster, make it go faster by increasing the speed. You can stop when you've had enough, or it will stop on its own once it's filled up. One advantage of the Saturn 197 is that it's got a very simple bobbin case. It's a drop-in, and it's see-through also, so that way you can. Uh, keep an eye on the level of thread that you have left. Just follow the directions to insert the thread. Make sure it's turning in an anti-clockwise uh, direction. Once you finish with the bobbin, continue with the main threading of the machine by following the simple directions. When you get to the needle, you can use the automatic threader. When you finish threading, turn the main wheel to yourself and use the needle to pull out the bubbling thread. Pull the thread and use the thread cutter to cut both threads and push it to the back and begin sewing. Firstly, I'm going to try the straight stitch and adjust the tensions to see um, the difference in the outcome of the stitching. It's got a reverse button that you can use, also an auto stop button. And this stops as soon as you finished the sewing. I'm now trying the zigzag stitch. This can also be used to overlock the ends of your fabric. I'm very impressed with what I've seen so far. You'll be glad to know that the Satin 197 has got 197 different stitches that you can use. So I'm trying one of the patterns. I just pressed uh, the number 26 and you can see the outcome. It's actually very good. When using the patterns, it's always better to press the auto stop button instead of the stop button that way you don't end up with a half finished pattern it finishes the pattern before it comes to a final stop
Finally, I'm going to try one of the alphabet patterns. I press the number 26 for the letter P. Let's see how it turns out. Not bad for a first timer. All I need to do is just um, maybe adjust the tension a little bit. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel for more videos and give this video a like and share. Thank you.